Whatever you're looking for, you're gonna find. So if you wanna change your life, my friends, you gotta change your physiology and you gotta change your focus. Hello and welcome. Tony Robbins is an entrepreneur, a number one New York Times bestselling author, philanthropist, and the nation's number one life and business strategist. For more than four and a half decades, millions of people have enjoyed the warmth, humor, and transformational power of Tony's business and personal development events. It's so that you change your life and the only thing that changes your life is making a decision. At 17, Robbins worked as a janitor after school and helped people move on the weekends to make money to help out his family. He was making $40 a week. He spent $35 to attend a Jim Rohn seminar and that changed his life. Robbins approached Roan to work for him and soon became his protege. Robbins developed a high energy, more personalized version of what Roan did. It was also more influenced by theories from behavior psychology. Robbins honed his approach on the road through hundreds of seminars across North America. And by the time he was 26, he was a millionaire with a best-selling book. In a video tribute to Roan after Roan's death in 2009, Robbins said it all began with his mentor. If you want to see the ultimate failure in life, it's success without fulfillment. He gave me a way of looking at life that allowed me not to ask life to be easier, but to ask that I be better. He got me to realize that the secret to life was to work harder on myself than my job or anything else, because then I'd have something to give people. And he really shaped me. So here's some advice from Tony Robbins to help you become more successful and productive. Always keep learning. Stay physically active. Identify a person who already has what you want. Take action, but be willing to change course. Give back. Some decisions about what you're gonna believe about health and energy, how important it's gonna be for you for now. If I would have told you 100 years ago that there's gonna be a box in your pocket and you're gonna pull this thing out, you're gonna hit a couple buttons and then it's gonna capture invisible waves that are drifting around the earth and bring the waves in and you're gonna see somebody on the other side of the earth and you're gonna to talk to them, you're totally nuts. Thoughts are those invisible waves. And when you use your body in a certain way, if I sit like this, I'm gonna channel, a, I'm gonna tap into a different channel of those waves than if I'm sitting like this. Kind of like a TV set. If I turn one channel, it might be a comedy channel. I'm gonna see a lot of laughter. Turn another one, it's a horror channel. Turn another channel, it's a romance channel. This is what changes which of those waves you touch in. So if you can start to realize that your thoughts, that you think are your thoughts, there's nothing unique about your thoughts. They've been around for thousands of years. You're just tapping into them because of what you're doing with your body that makes you either fearful or passionate or courageous or whatever you're feeling. As you go in those states, you get different thoughts. So what I want people to see is that learn how to just see those thoughts go by. Learn how to be entertained by those thoughts. Because I have crazy thoughts, and, but what I've gotten good at is going, look at that crazy thought. That's not me, that's the mind. Not your mind, because if it's you, how do you change you? Pretty hard. So the most important key to changing your life in any situation is to change results, you gotta change behavior, but to change behavior, you gotta change the emotional state you're in. All you have to do to change your state is not try to think your way there, like I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy, and do a bunch of affirmations, your brain's gonna go BS, you are not happy. What you need to do is make a radical change in the way you use what we call your physiology. It's a big word, it just means the way you use your physical body. But if I said to you, there's a depressed person behind curtain number one over there, and I'll donate a hundred $100,000 to your best charity, your favorite charity, if you could describe what they're like physically. Right now, close your eyes and focus on how it feels when you're really proud. Focus on that moment you're proud of. How do you breathe when you feel really proud? And if you're a little kid, what happens to your face when you're really proud? Open your eyes, how many feel that feeling in your body right now? So if we change the state you're in, just by changing our focus or the way you use our body, strongly, now if you say, I'm gonna change my body, like I, if you focus on what you want, life has probabilities, there's no guarantees, but you increase them when you change your state. And that's really what this is all about. Learning to change your body and learning to change your focus. And then I do this three-step process. First, I do three minutes of gratitude, where I think of three things I'm really grateful for, and I associate, I don't think of it over there, I feel it. And the reason is, when you're grateful, you can't be worried. You can't be fearful. When you're grateful, you can't be angry. And anger and fear are what screw people up most in their relationships, mm -hmm. in their life, in their business. So I wire myself. I was saying to you that most people want to be happy, but their habit is to be worried or pissed off or frustrated <laughs> or stressed. And so they're, they've got a highway to stress and they got a dirt road to happiness. 
So I wire myself. I've got a highway to gratitude, which changes all your emotions. And then I do a three minute process of kind of a prayer for my family and friends. And then I do a three minute process of the top three things I want to accomplish. I see it as done and I feel it. I'm done in 10 minutes. So sometimes I go 20, but my deal is 10. So there's no excuse not to do it. Whatever you're looking for, you're going to find. So if you want to change your life, my friends, you got to change your physiology and you got to change your focus. By the way, how fast can you change that stuff? How fast, my friends, how fast? How fast, come on. In a heartbeat, once you rechange your conditioning, that's all you gotta do. You get yourself in a passionate place is so that you change your life and the only thing that changes your life is making a decision. So while you're in this passionate state, that's where you make decisions. So one thing you gotta identify is where are you living? What's your home? What's your habit? And then the way to change it is that when I was homeless, literally on my own, just getting started, I didn't have the internet, but I decided I had to go to a library and I had to feed my mind. And I always tell people the first stage is, you know, weeds grow automatically. Uh, one of my teachers taught me, he said, every day stand guard at the door of your mind and feed it something good. Because if your worst enemy puts sugar in your coffee here, you're fine. If your best friend by accident trying to help you put some strychnine, you're dead. So if you can go help somebody worse off, you put your life in perspective. And it also reminds you life's not about me, it's about we. I always tell people the secret to a great life, the secret to living is giving. And there's, when you realize there's something in you still to give, even if you lost your legs, even if you've been through a horrific financial situation, your life can improve. But more importantly, you'll have a meaningful life because your life will contribute to other people.